All right, new questions tonight surrounding the medical school at the center of the Sleep Train Arena revitalization project. CBS 13 has confirmed that the Sacramento City Council did not know California North State University was denied full accreditation before the council voted to approve its medical center plans last month. The school has since lost its appeal and is now on probation. But why? How common is this, and what does it mean for the project moving forward? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers on this. Julie. Yeah, guys. You know, considering the public money at stake, many feel details of the school's accreditation struggles should be made public. But California North State won't say why they've been put on probation. The accrediting body says it can't release the records. And the city council won't tell us if they've even requested those records. But we have learned the medical school's probation, well, probations like this are not common. Unanimous. Let's go. As we first reported last month, the Sacramento City Council unanimously approved plans to make a new teaching hospital and medical campus run by California North State University the centerpiece of the Sleep Train Arena revitalization project known as Innovation Park. But as we revealed, the for profit medical school behind the plan failed its bid for full accreditation, telling students in January the school was found to be not satisfactory in all areas during its accreditation survey. But CNU's president didn't reveal that to the city council before they voted to approve the massive project in February. Congratulations, Dr. Chung. CNU received its preliminary accreditation in 2015 and its current provisional accreditation in 2019, which only lasts five years. But they failed their full accreditation survey in 2021. And after losing its appeal last month, just days after the city council vote, the school's now on probation and continues to operate with provisional accreditation. A CNU spokesperson told the SAC B it's not unusual for a new and developing medical school to be placed in the status category, but CNU is currently the only medical school in the nation on probation. CBS 13 reviewed accreditation archives dating back to 2017 and could only find one other medical school to have had CNU status. So what happens to the project if CNU is never fully accredited? The spokesperson tells us CNU has committed to build the teaching hospital. The hospital and medical college are two completely different operations. Later adding, the university applied to seek land use approval to build a hospital. Seeking approval to build a hospital does not require a university. The Association of Medical Colleges confirms there is no requirement for a teaching hospital to be affiliated with a medical school. So, in theory, a university could get a license to run a hospital, even if its medical school is not accredited. Now, California North State says disclosing why they're on probation would be premature before a public financing plan is officially established. But while there's no official public funding attached to this project yet, the city staff did recommend uh, many recommendations that include public funding. And staff were paid with taxpayer dollars to research and compile this 400 page land use report on CN CNU's proposal, which means, well, some public money is being used. Yeah, uh, what sticks out to me is CNU spokesperson saying that it's not unusual, and then yet you say it's the only medical it's school only that's happening to. Right, well, currently the only one, and we could only find one dating back mm -hmm. to 2017 who had a similar status. Yeah. All right, Julie. Julie First thanks. to report on it, I know you stay on top of it. Thank you.